In the beginning of the year, this becomes the most popular place for people with those resolutions to get fit and shed some pounds. But you could lose more if you don't read your gym contract. It's so important not to rush into a gym contract. And that's because if you do, you could find yourself paying hundreds of dollars each year for a contract that lasts longer than you originally wanted. University of Toledo law professor Lee Pezzamenti. I've talked to lots of people who have signed gym contracts who've said a classic situation is that someone sits and reads the contract and someone's right over them either saying, well, I can tell you what that means or just saying it's really not a big deal or in some other way trying to make you feel uncomfortable so that you rush through it. Contract lawyers like Pesamenti urge to never rush through any contract. Instead, you should be asking questions such as, Is there a sign-up charge? Uh, what sort of fees would you have to pay if you uh, decided not to continue? Uh, how many of the things offered are part of the package will you have to pay extra for? All good questions, but let's say you did sign that contract without asking those questions. Is there a safety net? You're entitled to have a three-day cooling off period. If you change your mind, you can call back and say, I don't want to do it anymore. If you move more than 25 miles away from the gym and there's no gym close to your new home, the Ohio law allows you to end your contract and get a pro rata payback period.